In this video, we will see how to calculate the power consumption of a fridge easily thanks to a small device that most of you already have at home today. We will look at the consumption at a specific moment over a day and over a month. This will allow us to size a power inverter, a battery and determine how many solar panels we will need to be self-sufficient. A small exercise that can of course be applied to other devices once you understand the principle. In this example, we will take my household fridge that I have at home, which runs on alternating current. We will also see how long a fridge runs during the day. And by the way, what would you guess? Around 30 to 60% of the time? Let us know in the comments before finding out the answer. Before we begin, you will find our electrical diagram pack in the video description. Also, consider subscribing to the channel, give us a like and feel free to ask your questions in the comments. Let's go! We start with the consumption of my fridge, which is a large family fridge. Even though there are much bigger ones, this already gives us a solid reference point. Its consumption is about 115 watts. If the compressor were running continuously at full power, that would give 0.115 kilowatts times 24 hours, which equals 2.76 kilowatt hours per day. But in practice, the data I recorded in May on my app over 31 days is about 41 kilowatt hours. This gives us a daily average of 41 kilowatt hours divided by 31 days equals 1.32 kilowatt hours per day. And here on the app, we can see that the variation from one day to another depends quite a lot on the day of the week, the number of people at home, but mostly on the number of times the fridge is opened and closed. Now we're going to answer the question I asked you a few moments ago. The percentage of time the compressor runs, or in other words, the running cycle of the fridge. It's the same thing. Earlier, I calculated the consumption if it ran 100% of the time, which was 2.76 kilowatt hours per day. So now we divide our 1.32 kilowatt hours by 2.76, and we get approximately 0.48 or 48%. This value should be adjusted based on ambient temperature, the number of times the fridge is opened and closed, how full of the fridge is, etc. But it gives us a good estimate for further calculations. In a camper van or an RV, during summer the ambient temperature is higher, and in winter the consumption will be much lower in comparison. Now let's talk about the power inverter because it has a standby consumption that is not negligible but there is a trick to reduce this impact and also a loss during the conversion because an inverter has an efficiency of about 90 percent on average let's first calculate the total consumption including the fridge and the inverter to do this we divide our 115 watts calculated earlier by 0.90 and this gives us 127.8 watts. Now, regarding the standby consumption of the inverter, many models today have eco modes. If you are plugging in a fridge, I recommend buying one with this feature. It's better. Here, I was looking at a model from Edioka with a nominal power of 1,500 watts. In eco mode, its consumption is less than 8 watts. And in non-eco mode, its consumption is 15 watts. Since I measured a consumption of 1.32 kilowatt hours per day with my app, let's calculate the running time. Here, we take 1,320 watt hours divided by 115 watts, which equals approximately 11.5 hours per day. So, the fridge is off for about 12.5 hours per day. The energy needed by the fridge through the inverter, with an efficiency of 90%, gives us 1,467 watt-hours per day. The inverter's own consumption while operating will be 15 watts times 11.5 hours, which equals 172.5 watt-hours. And when the fridge is on standby for about 12.5 hours, that gives us 8 watts times 12.5, which equals 100 watt hours. So in the end, over one day, the total consumption will be 1467 plus 172.5 plus 100, which equals 1739 watt hours per day, or 1.71 kilowatt hours per day. Now let's see how to choose your battery to have a minimum level of autonomy. And when I say minimum, it really depends on each person and their usage. Here we'll assume that you have no way of recharging for two days. We will choose a lithium battery of 12.8 volts and 300 ampere hours and see what that gives us. 
Its capacity in watt hours will be calculated by multiplying 12.8 by 300, which equals 3,840 watt hours, or 3.84 kilowatt hours. To calculate our autonomy, we simply divide 3,840 watt hours by 1,739 watt hours per day, which equals approximately 2.21 days. So we will have more than two days of autonomy with this battery, but be careful. Are we going to discharge it 100%? Even with lithium, the answer is no. We will always keep 10% of capacity to preserve its lifespan. Therefore, the usable capacity will rather be 3,456 watt hours. So in the end, we will be slightly below two days, one day and 23 hours to be more precise. But this remains an example based on specific starting data. The consumption of a fridge is very variable once again. It is not the easiest thing to calculate precisely. Now, how do you choose your solar panels? Well, this will also depend on whether you are in a camper van or on a remote site. In a van or an RV, you will be limited in terms of space. So staying realistic, let's say you only have one solar panel of 420 watts on the roof. Let's imagine it's the middle of June and your panel gets a good 10 hours of direct sunlight. Pretty ideal conditions, right? Let's do a very theoretical calculation. 420 watts multiplied by 10 hours equals 4,200 watt hours. So charging 90% of the battery will take a bit more than eight hours. And in practice, it will take longer. The panels will never deliver 420 watts, especially when mounted flat. And on top of that, don't forget that the fridge is still running. So in this example, it will rather take around two to three days of sunshine to recharge. So two solar panels would be a much better option for this kind of energy need. Here, the idea is to explain the calculation process and what you need to keep in mind. In real life, a fridge consumes much less energy in a vehicle. So no need to panic. This was just an example. Don't forget to like and comment. See you very soon.